Well, conditions really couldn't be any better here tonight. A very warm welcome to you on this fine evening. I'm Guy Mowbray, and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And with the atmosphere building up nicely, what a match this promises to be. It's Real Betis, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing, and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. Here's how Real Betis line up. Yeah, it looks to be a 4-4-2, and you'd expect the two strikers to occupy both centre-backs. When they attack, they'll combine, and the wide midfielders, they'll get forward to provide crosses for them both. This is the Real Madrid starting lineup. They are lining up in a 4 3 3 system, and with this, it naturally creates triangles all over the pitch. So it means lots of options for players. It does allow them to get forward and support the attacks as well. Ball is rolling, we're underway. Toletti. Need to get tighter here. And that's where it ends. Plenty of open space here. Game brought to a halt, a free kick given for that. to take the lead amazing had to score but didn't well read to gain possession Tanea. Toletti. No free kick, not yet. Advantage played. That set up the chance. And it's on now. And the keeper more than equal to it. It's been delivered and cleared well away from goal. Oh, she's beaten her marker here. Real Madrid regaining possession. Players waiting in the centre. Good job done to keep it there.
Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? And that one is got away. Terra Abayera. Real moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Toletti. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. There's a chance for the breakaway here. Allowed to go a long way with this. Nicely played. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. So away we go then. So we're underway again with the sides all square. Fantastic looking ball. Looking to put the cross in. Still level, but this attack could see that changing. The referee spots the infringement. Free kick to come and a real opportunity this. free kick straight into the wall trying to force a mistake a chance now for a quick transition for the lead here and on and on they go has to be and it's there they have a goal and they have the lead Well, here we can see it again, and a simple finish it may be, but it's all about the movement in the box, just to find that yard or two of space. That's what makes it an easy finish in the end. One nil then, as we get started again. back now found nicely and in they found a way through and they've scored again that puts them further in front what a position to be in Well, here we can see it again. She hits it so cleanly. Perfect contact. And the keeper never really had a chance. It's a fantastic strike. So the lead is now two as the game restarts. This is a promising looking attack. The crowd urging her to shoot. What a stop, razor sharp. Oh, talk about reactions. How good were hers then? It's such close range. That's a brilliant save.
Well, the crowd is certainly trying to help get their team back into this. They definitely need a goal here to gain a bit of confidence. And here it comes. And away from danger it goes. Very well kept out, alert and ready. Well, you feel that probably had to go in, didn't it? There's so little time left now. It is a really good save, though. You've got to praise the keeper. Olga Carmona. Moving forward well. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. Atenea. Toletti. The keeper quick to get across and make the save. It's been delivered. They've got the corner away. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. This was below the levels we expect from them. Just looked a bit disorganised off the ball. Not enough leaders out there for me today. They've got to be better for the next game.